so hello friends welcome back to the channel after a long time i'm here to make a review and this time this is the horizon os and this is basically horizon os 6.5 official so this build comes with official tag so that means it should be good but in first impression i will say this is not that good you can see there is lag everywhere like if i open any app you can see the animations are not smooth at all there is lags jitters but this rom comes with many features so this is basically features oriented rom and if i go to the settings you will see there is many customization options and we get the apple like depth feature in this rom i'm in the depth wallpaper let me show you in the settings so first of all let me go to the about section and this is the settings ui you can see and it's different so if i go to about phone you can see this is the about and it looks really nice then i have the version which is horizon 6.5 official and we get the device info right here the battery capacity chipset and the storage etc then we get the phone numbers then we have the imei and the android version which is android version 14 and we get slight animation right here and if i tap on this the easter egg is working fine and the vibrations are also working fine and talking about the kernel the kernel is 4.14.347 openella kernel as you can see here and this is upstreamed and the build maintainer is julius kezer so thank you julius kezer for making this build for our devices then in battery information we get the battery temperature only because because the voltage design capacity and maximum capacity is broken then if i go to sound and vibration we get another new ui then we get volume steps, phone ringtone, now playing smart force, etc. Then we get the charging sounds and you can change the charging sound by yourself. And this is pixel based ROM. So you get everything like other pixel builds. And if I go to the wallpaper and widgets, wallpaper and style, you can see we get this UI. And if I go to more wallpapers, we get the AI wallpaper and the emoji workshop just like pixel OS. Then we have other Google wallpapers and we also get the depth wallpaper right here. Let me go to this that section. Then the ambient display so if i turn it on it should turn on on the pickup but this is currently not working now finally let's go to the customization center so if i go to here you can see we get this ui and you get separate segments for all options if i go to lock screen we get a lock screen clock depth wallpaper user switcher etc and the current condition of the weather then edge light ripple animation charging stats etc and if i go to lock screen clock you get many options from where you can set them as you can see and if i show you the lock screen you can see it is quite different i will say very different from other roms and in clock custom you can see we get the nothing like clock then we get the weather settings now in quick settings we get the quick setting customization and here is a bunch of customization that you can set from like the number of rows columns etc then the battery style battery percentage the animation duration etc the data usage then in miscellaneous we get many options like the sound engine the spoofing in spoofing we get the pixel props that will bring the pixel features in your phone then the storage encryption play integrity fix etc and we also get the higher fps in games that will unlock extreme fps in the bgmi then in themes we again get many options like monet engine system font icon shape icon signal icon wi-fi icon navigation bar icon etc then the boot animation and you get three boot animations as you can see here we get pixel horizon ui and cyberpunk 2077 so let's see how the cyberpunk 2077 works I will do a system restart. So you can see it looks pretty dope. I 
it says never settle and it boots now if i show any other settings in the customization like power menu you can see we have power menu actions and here we get the advanced reboot and that is working fine i just showed you recently then in buttons we get the layout and invert layout option then if i go to apps we get the game space right here you can see this is what i was searching for so in game space we get danmaku notification mode in game call in game ringer mode etc and you can add the games right here like bgmi etc then we have the clone apps default apps etc then in notification we get the notification history conversation bubbles sensitive notifications and flash notification so this will turn on the camera flash like if i show you preview it will look like this when any call comes or notification comes and you can also customize the color you can see then here is nothing left to talk about and yes we get the skin lock fingerprint and face lock as you can see so this is it now talking about the benchmark applications i tested the antutu benchmark and the cpu throttling test but there is no performance optimization options like that we get like we used to get in realme settings like the performance profile the thermal settings that we used to get in the putoid build like awaken os etc but still i tested the benchmarks and in antutu i got 316089 which is pretty bad score i will say because we easily get around 380000 in other roms so from this you can guess how heavy this rom is and this is the throttling result without any performance optimization options this is all default and also with the default kernel and we don't get the kernel issue in this rom so if you want to root you will have to use the magisk okay so this is it and the camera application is lineage camera and the lineage camera is working fine you can see the depth sensor the wide angle and the macro camera also all are working fine and in video mode we get access to all the sensors and in the main sensor we get option to customize the resolution only we don't get option to customize fps just like any other roms so this is working fine and you can also use gcams whatever you want so this is it i don't want to do the gaming test because i don't expect any better performance out of this rom so this was a short review about a custom rom i just wanted to try a new custom rom and this is how it is so here's one thing that you might want to know that does any payment app works in this rom so they definitely work fine you can see google pay is not showing any error also the phone pay is not showing any error and if i show you the device integrity like in the about you can see the device is certified so there is no issue about safety net and also in the yasna app i will show you the safety net so you can see the, both are passed so there is no issue about safety net and payment apps so this is it if you want any other rom review then please let me know in the comment section now my semester is ended and now i am free to make videos just suggest me any rom review that you want so that's it i will see you in the next one bye bye